More than 100 members of a high school band shut down a neighborhood road so a special fan could have a listen. To news reporter Jake Rowell, live in, at Wayne High School to explain. Well, Katie, bands are, especially marching bands, are typically used to playing in front of very large audiences. But for one special fan, that being Lorraine Perna, she's a teacher at Wayne High School. While well, the marching band played for an audience of one. They play with one collective sound. The Wayne High Band is amplified by their number one fan. You know, this is someone who loves the band. Every time we perform, she wants to get up there. She directs, even if she doesn't really entirely know <laughs> what they're doing. Lorraine Perna teaches business at Wayne, but you could find her outside the classroom, too. She does a little bit of everything. Well, Ms. Perna is a really big part of our school, and she always does send offs for all of, like, all of our sports teams. Which is why when Mrs. Perna was diagnosed with cancer, the band had a plan. We felt that as Ms. Perna was going off to, for her chemotherapy at Ohio State, we felt that she deserved to send off as well. well. This is something I think that would really boost her up for this journey she's about to go on. Perna hasn't been able to listen to the Wayne Band since being diagnosed. At more than 100 members, the band marched off their practice field and in to another. Actually walked through a field behind her house to sneak in front of her house. Huber Heights police blocked the road. We got into a parade block, um, the street over. The concert was about to begin, and she had front row seats. She was like very overwhelmed with happiness. Yeah, she was very surprised. She had no idea it was going to happen, and we just started playing. Perna, standing in the blue shirt on her own yard, didn't want the focus on her. So the band played the fight song as she stands, ready to fight another battle. The whole the atmosphere was really positive, so everyone's just really happy to be there. A symbol for the warrior spirit, a collective sound to lift her spirits. Next week, students, faculty, and staff will be able to purchase Perna Power t shirts. In fact, they're having an entire week after her in honor of her. And then we've been told right now that actually Lorraine Perna is going to be in the house tonight for this big football game. It's Wayne versus Beaver Creek. It's going to be our Operation Football Game of the Week. We'll have highlights at 10 and 11. For now, reporting live at Huber Heights, Jake Ryle, 2 News, working for you.